Beginner guitarists, did you know that playing this bass note strumming pattern is like you being the bass guitarist and the rhythm guitarist at the same time? You're a beginner guitarist, okay, and you're probably here because of your supposed bad strumming, right? And you want to find out what this hidden weapon against bad strumming is. Now, a very, very common question from beginner guitarists is, why is my strumming so bad? But the truth is, I think that your strumming is probably not as bad as you think. Boring, maybe, but terrible, no. But let's do something to take your playing up a notch. I wanna show you how to add bass notes to your strumming. Adding bass notes to your strumming can instantly raise your guitar playing. Bass note strumming, and what we're looking at in this beginner's guitar tutorial, is an easier version of the, the technique known as boom chick strum, or boom chicka strumming, or even bum ditty. And I think it's a really great and a very important strumming technique for beginners, because I think it can enhance your rhythm guitar playing, it can help your coordination between, like for example, your strumming hand and your chord changes. And it begins to add to the different rhythm guitar styles you're gonna be able to play as you get better and better. As a beginner guitarist, you face a lot of struggles when you're trying to improve your, your strumming and your playing in general. So for this beginner's guitar tutorial, I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible to help get you started on this bass note strumming. And one of the things I'm gonna do is only use three great beginner guitar chords, and they are A, D, and E major. And I do have a reason for using those three chords. So you're probably wondering what exactly is bass note strumming? Well, it's a really great rhythm guitar technique that's used in many different styles, country, rock and roll, and it basically involves you picking the bass note of the chord before continuing with a strum. And basically, that's usually the lowest string that you can play in the chord. So for example, here's an A chord, and you can see in the diagram that the lowest string that you can play, is the, which is the bass note, is the A string, the fifth string. So what I wanna do now is I wanna show you the difference between regular strumming, just using a simple down strumming pattern, and then I'm gonna contrast that with a bass note strumming pattern using the same chords. So here's a very typical beginner guitar chord progression, and it's just using three basic chords. We've got A major, D major, and E major, and it's two bars of A, two bars of D, two bars of E, and two bars of A. And this is four, four times, so you're playing four strums in the bar. So I'm gonna do it first of all with just down strums, and then I'm gonna do it again with the picking pattern. One, two, three, four. with the picking pattern. So I think you can hear the difference between those two rhythm patterns. The first one is the straight downs, which is very nice, but the second one with the picking, the bass picking pattern, makes it sound a lot nicer. And that's what you're gonna be playing very soon. So as I said before, we're gonna keep this as simple and as basic as possible, just to make it easier for you to get this bass note strumming pattern. 
Now, in this pattern, there was one picked note, the bass note of the chord, and then three down strums of that same chord. Now, in the A major chord, you're picking the fifth string. This is the fifth string. Also, this is the A string. And remember that the, the numbers of the strings go in this direction. It's six, five, four, three, two, one. So as I said, you pick that open A string. That's your bass note. And then you strum the rest of the chord. So let me just show you that nice and slow. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's easy bass note strumming. With one bar, we're doing this. One, two, three, four. That's one bar. And obviously it's repeated. After the pick, I'm strumming what's left of the chord. Now don't worry if you find yourself strumming the whole thing. Really, don't worry about that for the moment. But in general, what we, we are playing is that picked note and then we're continuing with the chord. Because what will happen is, what should happen is, this note will continue to ring out as you're playing the chord. So you still have that nice deep mm, uh, as you're playing. So play along with me. We're just gonna play the A major chord and we'll play it for four bars, okay? And you can see, there's the, the progression there. Each bar is pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. So remember, P means pick, S means strum. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. That's it for the A major chord. Let's look at the D chord and the E major chord. Now, if the A major chord, the D major chord, or the E major chord is a little difficult for you at the moment, or you're still having a little drama with it and you need a refresher, then check out the description below. I've got a link for full beginner tutorials on those three chords. In the D major chord, the bass note is the open fourth string, the D string. So you'll pick that note and then strum the chord as normal. So let me show you how that sounds. So here's the D chord. Uh, you can see the diagram up there. So what we have is pick, there's your D string, and then there are the three strums. So pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. And you can see here, you know, with this picking, strumming technique, you really do need control over this hand, don't you? Because you've got to be careful that you're not going like that. And that's, that's a mistake I made so many times when I started playing this. I constantly hit the wrong string or I was hitting two strings at the same time. But you know, as, as we say, when you're learning something, it will take time, but you do need to practice this. But you'll get it eventually, no problems about that. So let's play it together. Again, we'll play four bars of the D chord, which looks like this up here. And pick, strum, strum, strum. Here we go again, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Now a common problem for beginners starting out is that you can often have uh, a really tense 
strumming hand. And when you're quite tense, you end up doing things like this. Right, you end up having that kind of strumming. Now, as you practice this and as you get better, in time, your hand will relax and because it becomes part of your, you know, the muscle memory and all of that. So, you know, for the moment, you know, if you find yourself doing all of this, you know, the stiff hand and the gritted teeth and all of that, just remember when you get better, you'll, uh, you'll be doing a lot less of that and you'll find yourself playing a lot more comfortably. And you'll also find that you'll find the, the open string, the D string, for example, in this D chord, you'll find it very, very easily. You know, you won't need to do this so much. You know, that kind of looking down to see exactly what you're playing. You'll get better and all of this will get a lot easier. Question of the day. Now, what songs do you know that have bass note strumming playing? Let me know. And I'll kick off with this classic one here, not in 4-4, four, four, but in 3-4. Let's see if you guess this. Mm. I love that tune. So here's the E major chord. And for this one, and you see the diagram here, the lowest note that you're going to pick is the open sixth string, which is an E note. Now this is the thickest string on the guitar. So you'll pick that and then strum the chord as normal. So I think this one is very nice because it has a very full sound. It's quite beautiful. So play along with me. And again, we'll play four bars, which looks like this. And E, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. One, two, three, four. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Now with the plectrum, the guitar pick, don't hold it too tightly and don't hold it too loosely. Too tightly will give you a, a very harsh sound and too loosely you, you uh, won't, might not hear the pick uh, and you might also lose the plectrum. So try and hold it, as I say, with a little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a grip but not too much. And you know, as I said before, Keep your wrist loose. Now using the A major chord, the D major and the E chord, I think is a really good introduction to bass note strumming and to this type of rhythm guitar playing because the bass notes that you have to pick are not notes that you're fretting. They're open strings. So you've got an open A, the fifth string, an open D, for the D string and the sixth string, which is an open E. And I think that's one thing less to worry about. You see, I told you I had a reason. Let's try that chord progression that I played at the beginning of the tutorial. The two bars of A, the two bars of D, two bars of E's, and then the two bars of A. Let's keep it slow and we'll go round it three times. So remember it's one pick followed by three down strums. And you can see there's a progression up there. A, A, D, D, E, E, A, A, and we'll repeat it three times. So the first strum, the first beat is the pick. So you'll pick only on the first strum and then, so only on the first beat and then strum the rest. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, 
strum, pick, strum, 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 pick, strum, 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 pick, strum, 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 pick, strum, 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 pick, strum, strum, and again. And again. I did stuff that up a little bit but no dramas. But it sounds great, doesn't it? And I think this is why bass note strumming is a, is a must know strumming technique. It's classic strumming. Check out my other beginner guitar tutorials to help you improve your rhythm guitar playing. And let me know how your bass note strumming is coming along by leaving a comment down below. Thanks for joining me today. Happy bass note strumming.